I remember after we had written the script, you know, we left 22 holes um, in the script where, you know, Justin will write song about, you know, Jesus on the cross or whatever. And I remember after that, um, you know, going into my office, taking, you know, the content that we had talked about we wanted to write about and just being so overwhelmed and being like, what have I gotten myself into? I don't know how to do this. And so it really was just a leaning on the Lord. Um, and it was a ton of fun, you know, someone who's written mostly worship songs, you know, for the church, um, doing something like this was so fun and just awakens a side of creativity that, you know, when you're speaking from the voice of a character, maybe even a wicked character, and being able to kind of get into their thought process, it just makes the Bible um, come to life. And I think writing songs for musical is one of my most um, enjoyable things that I've ever done. The, the experience of this show was so amazing. We had nine shows here in Kansas City, and then we also web streamed the last show. Uh, and a good number of people saw this show, but if you haven't seen this show, I still encourage you, uh, pick up this album and l listen to these songs. I mean, you're gonna be um, brought into an experience, even though you're not seeing it. Um, you know, John the Beloved, who's played by Matt Gilman, you know, the, his voice translating even through these songs uh, just brings you so into the encounter. The emotions of these songs and their acting even here in the studio as we've been recording it will draw your heart in to an encounter with the Lord. Uh, so even if you didn't see this show, I still really recommend that you pick up the CD um, to experience from Atmos. It's a miracle. My